hi guys welcome to another video in this video i'm gonna show you how you can set conditional uh, options in your whatsapp flow forms for example uh, in some cases you need to add a if condition like one option is selected then only you want to give a specific choices uh, in that case uh, how you can do it easily that's what we're, what we're gonna do look at today so let's have a look at what we are going to build or let me explain what you can do with this option so here i can see there is a drop down here choose your phone in this demo i created a basic example for you so i'm gonna select apple here so i'm getting the apple iphone options here drop down options if i go back uh, uh, okay my bad uh, if i go back uh, if i go here and change the apple to android you can see the options also changes dynamically it will only ask me choose your android options like android devices so uh, if i remove this again then it will ask me to select a phone first then only the next options or choices will be available so this is what we're going to look at how you can set it up uh, and uh, this will be much useful and it will give you more control on building forms like this so let's go uh, edit screen this is our first screen so here you can see select your phone so this is our first option make sure you you need to provide a unique name every time for each components you are using in the uh, whatsapp flow so everything has to be a unique name so here in our case this is our phone type this determines uh, other options how the other drop down should work in this demo so if i'm gonna select apple so this apple the, this is a value is apple here make sure uh, you remember or copy this values accordingly or for android also the values android here we have nothing to do these are the things we need to just uh, we are uh, components that we are using for this and throughout the demo now choose your iphone there is another drop down i created if you scroll down you can find something called visible so this is the uh, condition we are setting uh, when this uh, field or drop down should be visible so here you can see form dot phone type phone type is our this thing whatever phone type value you are selecting or whatever phone uh, type is the component that the first drop down we used so for example i'm gonna select apple means this will be the value it has to be equal to equal to check what value you selected here then only if this condition is true then only this form or this drop down this second apple uh, choose your iphone drop down will be visible for you so uh, if it is not equal to apple means this entire thing will not be displayed for your uh, when you are running this whatsapp flow so if it is not apple or uh, if it is selected android if it is not selected that means this drop down will not be visible so like same thing happens in here also form dot uh, font type equal to equal to android that means uh, if it is uh, this font type is selected as equal to android then only this entire form will be visible otherwise uh, this will not be displayed now uh, let's do a little more advanced uh, level uh, of this conditional operation for example here you can see why we are using form dot font type because this is entire thing inside one single screen uh, you need to do this condition for another screen set of operations or set of questions you want to display or you don't want to display it uh, in that case how you can do it uh, let, let me show you how you can set it up so i have another screen called os version i created Let, let's open that one so here uh, i'm giving the uh, user to select their os this os type will be de defined based on their font type for example here there is a first drop down i have it is the android versions i'm displaying so that the how we are doing it here you can see data dot font type if it is equal to equal to android only we are displaying or this uh, this entire uh, drop down will be visible uh, so uh, thing you have to notice here is we are not using form we are using data here because form is only works within inside a same screen or within inside a same screen you can use form if you are uh, checking a data from a previous screen or another screen coming from another screen you make sure to use data data dot font type 
then only this uh, syntax will work. Uh, uh, the same thing you can do it for uh, your iOS or another option you want to build. Here also we are checking font type if equal to Apple only this will be visible. So uh, let's uh, preview this inside the workflow and you will get a better idea. So how you can set it up uh, this kind of condition. You can always refer, we have an example uh, syntax here. You can copy that and you can make necessary changes based on this parameter values that you are going to use in your form. Uh, so this uh, second screen preview, it's not possible to do uh, from here. Let me run a workflow so that I can show it to you on the WhatsApp. Uh, I'm going to set this inside a workflow. So we have a send message block. We can upload the WhatsApp flow. Click on edit. Just type some, just give some test here. And select our WhatsApp form. This is the form that we are working on. It's on draft only. You can click on it. So these are the data that is coming through this entire form. Uh, we can just save into some variable here. Let's save. Just uh, another message we can print. Uh, let's publish it. Now let's do a preview. Uh, let's preview this form. Um, so we have the form opened in WhatsApp. Let's test it out. So here you can see first option. I'm selecting Apple here. I'm getting the iOS option. Uh, let's go with 16. Next. Now you can see select your OS. Now we are getting only the iOS option. If we go back, uh, change this to Android. Now you can see uh, Android options are showing. Let me click on this. Now we are getting the Android version options. So with this, uh, if conditional options, you can you have more control on the forms now. You can customize accordingly to your requirement. Uh, so that's it for the video. That's a update on the WhatsApp uh, Flow Builder uh, currently supported in in the platform. So. Feel free to check it out. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Reach out to us. Thank you.